Now know Oakland Mayor Libby Schaff is taking threats from the Trump administration seriously. KPX5 reporter Phil Matier says that she is now lawyering up. Right, Phil? That's right, because it's one thing to be the target of political rhetoric, but when there's intimation that you might also be under investigation, well, things get serious, and Libby Schaff knows that. Let's take a look. Well, the mayor of Oakland has actively uh, has been actively seeking to help illegal aliens avoid apprehension. It's talk like that from U.S. Attorney Jeff Sessions that has Oakland Mayor Libby Schaff lawyering up. I have been in consultation with the attorney. I take... Um, these claims very seriously. And Schaap isn't talking to just any lawyer. Her lawyer in this case is Melinda Haig, the former U.S. attorney for Northern California. Have you met or spoken with your attorney yet? Yes. Can you give us a little bit on the conversation? It's attorney-client privileged. Today, the mayor's comments to reporters appeared to be given with one eye on the legal line she may or may not have crossed, and light on the question of whether she endangered law enforcement officers or led to criminals getting away. Uh, I was very careful in not sharing any specific information about these ICE raids that might have endangered law enforcement. And while other Bay Area mayors were quick to slam the Attorney General's condemnation of the state's sanctuary laws. Her actions support those who flout the law. This guy's a moron, you know, it's more of the same out of D.C. It wasn't exactly a stampede of support for Schaff having blown the whistle on the raids. I, I'm not uh, the mindset that sending out the siren is the best approach. Or Governor Jerry Brown. What each local mayor does or doesn't do, uh, that's a matter of interest that people should follow up on. Uh, it was not my intention to get caught up in a national debate, but I do believe that I'm speaking for the residents of my city. Would you do it again? Yes, Phil. Now, the mayor does have one powerful ally, and that is Melinda Haig, the former U.S. attorney, who will be representing her and counseling her for free, so we taxpayers won't be picking up that defense. In Oakland, Phil Mateer, KPIX5. Back to you guys. Thank you, Phil. Our exclusive KPIX5 Survey USA poll finds the majority of Californians say the Department of Justice's lawsuit is a bad idea. 47% say suing California is a wrong move, and the statewide survey found 30 6% think it's the right thing to do. But the survey also found that 44% of Californians disagree with state law that makes it so local police cannot notify federal agents when an immigrant is released from jail or prison. And another part of the law says local police cannot transfer immigrants directly to federal custody unless there's a warrant for their arrest or if the immigrant has committed serious crimes. 56% agree with that law, 32% disagree. It's worth noting that an overwhelming majority of people in the Bay Area say that local police should be assisting ICE in cases involving suspects and violent crimes. And Justin, we are learning that after today's events, the local public information officer for ICE submitted his resignation.